Hello, welcome back to another session on science. So we've been learning about balance, right? Yes. And now we're going to continue with another session on balance. Hmm, I want to ask you, have you ever wondered when you look outside the window and then you see a bird sitting on a wire, how come they never fall down? Have you ever wondered how come a ballerina can twirl on one leg and not fall down? And usually in a circus, you will see someone walking on a tightrope with a long pole. And they're so high up in, in the tent, they look like they're going to fall down. But they're not falling down. How is that so? So, with our lesson today on balance, we are going to learn about something called center of gravity. Yes, and to show about center of gravity, I have here a bottle with the cover, okay, and a potato, okay. So, I'm trying, I'm going to try to balance this potato on this bottle. Do you think I can do it? Do you think it will work? Let's see. Looks like I can't, right? And that's because the bottom, okay, although it's heavy, right looks like looks like it's more balanced at the bottom right also when you have a regular shaped item for example a ball the center of gravity is usually in the middle however this potato is an irregular shape look at the shape so the center of gravity for this potato is a little bit higher therefore it's harder to balance Okay, so how we're going to balance this potato is by adding forks. Okay, so at home you can try this. You need a bottle, you need a potato, and two forks of the same kind. Okay, so first of all, you want to find which side is the potato leaning on. So, use the... Oh, means it's falling towards this side right so we want to make the potato move this way so what we're going to do is we're going to add okay we're going to add so that it will fall this way and then we're going to try to balance the weight out by putting it here right now that the potato Looks like it's balancing out this side now, right? There! Look! My potato is balancing out. Now, as you can see, I've tried many times before this. I poke here and poke there and all that. And it takes a while, yeah? So what I want to explain to you right now is that um, what we have done right now is actually we have manipulated the center of gravity. What does manipulate mean? Manipulate means we change. We change the center of gravity for this potato so that the two forks can now balance out. So now it is standing under its center of gravity. Also, when you are in the playground and you see a balance beam, to walk on a balance beam, you need to put out your arms, okay? You need to put out your arms and when you feel like you're going to fall to one side, you actually balance with your arms. The same method is used for this experiment here, okay? So, there we go. Today, we learn about center of gravity. And that's all for today. Bye-bye.